A big shout out to Gerald for loaning me this shoe from his personal collection for a review. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melvin and I talk about sneakers. Today with me is a custom Air Max 1 known as the Tiger Fury by a local sneaker artist here in Singapore. His name is Mark Ong, aka Mr. Sabotage of Sabotage Surplus. I will include his links down below. You may find that name familiar because late last year in 2019, he had a collaboration with Jeff Staple. Together, they produced a handcrafted Air Force One dubbed the Pigeon Fury that was limited to only 30 pairs worldwide as a free to enter giveaway. That's right, no purchase was needed. But of course, that doesn't stop opportunities from making some money. Oh, by the way, this isn't mine. A big shout out to Gerald for loaning me this shoe from his personal collection for a review. One of the reasons that I have to borrow, you may have guessed, is that one cannot find this particular custom anywhere. Flight Club, Stock X, um, and some other have listings of Mark's other creations, but not this one. The Tiger Fury was probably from a time limited release for a very small group of customers. Unless of course there is a restock somewhere in the near future. Now let's look at the shoe. We will begin with the box. It looks like your typical Nike by you packaging until you turn to the side and back. You have these military inspired labels by Sabotage Surplus. The Arabic script is actually the company's logo and here it says Tiger Fury MX1 in my size as well. I'm not sure if the shoe came with anything else like a card or something. I don't know. But what it does have in the box right now are two sets of additional laces. This has the um, Dubray with the logo. Speaking of that, the one on the default red laces has the inscription that is personal to my friend. Of course, it would have been real cool if the writing was on the shoe itself. That would have made this pair a true one-off custom. Just saying. So the swoosh has been replaced by Mark's signature camo print. The label on the tongue, uh, okay, not a replacement, but it's been stitched over because I can still somewhat see what's behind. The materials on the upper, like most Air Max 1, is new bug and mesh. The back has the numbers 3 to 6. Any sneakerhead would be familiar with Amex Day, which is March 26. So unless I'm terribly mistaken by Mark's intention, that's what those numbers meant. That is right, it is a brand related holiday, celebrating the original launch of the Amex line. But whether your country or workplace observes Amex Day, that is another question. So overall, dope looking sneaker and custom colorway. It is hard to go wrong with Uptowns and Amexes. These silhouettes have been around for ages and yet till today, you have fresh ones like these. There's absolutely no limit to the amount of customization you can do to the shoe. And my friend Gerald truly likes it in this exact green shade and black trim. Now the red lace combination might be odd to some, but you can always swap them. But in my opinion, it looks mighty fine. And that is all I have for you today. Unfortunately, I can't offer you a on-fit footage because they don't belong to me. But please drop your comments down below. Tell me what you think about this colorway. Would you rock them in red laces? Do follow me on Instagram, chat with me, send me pictures of your custom sneakers, whatever. And until the next episode, you guys take care. Peace.